Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, the place where you can turn your Android home screen from boring home screen into awesome home screen. So, sorry I've been a bit absent this past week, been a little bit down with some flu, but I'm almost getting better now, so I can bring you to today's easy to follow video tutorial. Let us begin. Alrighty, so today's video tutorial will be teaching you how to recreate this amazing home screen by Gary Arts. It's a screen of the day on the My Color Screen site titled Red Tech. And as you can see, it looks simply fantastic. It's got great design visuals in the center here. It's got the arc clock, so you can see that the middle one here, it's, first of all, it starts off with your day of the month. Then it's got your time here with the two arcs here. So it's got, say it's two o'clock. And then the one around it is the minutes. So it's almost three o'clock. Next one over that is your battery. It's actually quite amazing. I can't get over the screen enough. There's just simply too many things that make this stand out. Below that, we've got our jump to shortcuts for our phone tapping that will bring up our phone as well as our email whatever else that you would want you can have there finishing it off it's got your brilliant little weather at the top just a minimal weather there and in the 720p version you've got a little app drawer at the bottom but for now I'm just going to be using the swipe up to open up my app drawer so if you'd like to know how to recreate this brilliant screen let us begin with today's video tutorial Great, so starting off, we're going to be having a completely blank screen. If you've got any apps or widgets, remember just to drag them into the X at the top or hold down on them and select remove. Just make sure your screen is blank. Now from here, I'll be using a custom launcher. Um, I'll be using Nova Launcher for this, Nova Launcher Prime for that fact. Uh, but you're welcome to use Apex Launcher, SS Launcher, Holo Launcher, pretty much any launcher that can support widgets. So... I'm guessing that's pretty much all of them. So what you definitely want to do is check in the links in the description below for all the, the resources that you'll need. It'll come with the wallpaper, the usips, as well as a Nexus 4 specific user just to make sure that everything fits in correctly. But I guess you could use it for any other phone that doesn't support a 720p resolution. Once you've got everything copied onto your phone, you just need to extract the zip file, whatever. Don't touch the usips, leave them alone. And once that's done, we're going to jump right into our launcher settings. Great, so for our launcher settings, well for our Nova launcher settings, we're going to hold down on the home screen and we can select the little wrench at the top there just to bring up our Nova settings like this. From here, we're going to jump straight into our desktop settings and then into our desktop grid. Now for my Nexus 4, I used a 10 by 6. However, Gary Arts does state that a 9 by 7 does work well. Well, it actually works brilliantly for a 720p P resolution such as the Galaxy S3. So if you're using an Nexus 4, I did find that a 10 by 6 worked. But as always, you can just change that however else you want it, depending on how you want it to fit your phone. So moving on, we want our margins to be none. We want our home screens. You only want one home screen. You want to disable shadows as well as your label icons. The only things you do want enabled is to be able to resize all widgets and definitely widgets overlap and overlap when placing. That is your desktop settings done. We're going to select back now. We're going to jump right into our dock where we want it to be disabled. We don't need a dock at the bottom. Going to select back now. Going to go into our look and feel. And if we scroll down here, as you can see, notification bar is enabled. We want that disabled. We don't need that bar at the top. It's just going to get in the way of this awesome screen. So from here, that is our Nova settings complete. Very simple, very quick and easy to do. So if we just minimize our screen now, this is what your screen should look like. Ready for that awesome looking wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, very, very easy to do. We're just going to hold down on the home screen and select wallpapers. Now you can use any gallery app that you want. I do recommend Quick Pick Wallpaper as it always turns out great results. Now you just need to look for that folder that you've copied onto your phone called Red Tech and it'll come with all the little icons that you need. You're just going to be selecting the, the wallpaper one here and it'll bring up this little box over here where you can now select at the bottom here. It's got a little crop icon where if you select portrait, it looks just a lot better and easier to handle, I guess you could say, because now it should fill up the whole screen. But for example, I've got my Nexus 4 and things don't fit too well because I've got my soft keys at the bottom, which can get me into trouble. That's why I do recommend just leaving or getting rid of that app draw icon at the bottom as editing the wallpaper, so using wallpaper wizardry can get or might squish the circle and it won't end up looking good at all. So I just recommend resizing it so that it touches the widths as well as the top and selecting OK. 720p guys, you should have no problem with this. 
great so once your wallpaper has been set up as you can see there's no room for that actual at the bottom unfortunately but we can get by with that if you do have a nexus 4 or any other phone that doesn't support the actual icon at the bottom you just have to go back into your nervous settings you can go then into your gestures and buttons and from here you can either select your home drawer to open up your app drawer just by selecting it like that or you can use a gesture like I showed earlier such as swiping up to open up your app drawer you just have to select it up and select app drawer however you do need the prime version for this but you can get away with the free version by selecting it as your home button so just keep that in mind once your wallpaper has been set up we can now jump into those UCCW skins Great, so for these UCCW skins, for the standard version, you're only going to be needing two skins that you need to be importing. However, you might be needing three if you got an X4, but we'll come to that later. So we're going to be adding in the first one at the top. All you have to do is hold down on the home screen and select widgets. From that, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom, select UCCW, and let's go for something like a 4x1. Why not? So we're going to scroll down, well, we're going to select use it at the top here, and we're going to be selecting Red Tech Weather. It's going to import it for you you just need to select the hand and it should be imported looking all awesome and stuff so from here we want to resize it hold down select resize get it to the top just so that it's in the middle like that and there it is plain and simple very easy to do you want to be doing exactly the same for the clock here or well, this whole area i guess you could call it so exactly the same thing hold down select uccw you can go for something bigger say for a 4x4 but remember you can always resize your CCW skins they're very easy to do so selecting use up again from here we're going to be selecting the red tech watch and you're going to import it it's going to do all that stuff for you if you do get a white block that you saw there earlier and it doesn't go away I do recommend just removing it straight away and selecting it from that UCCW list, not going use up and importing it again. It should definitely work out for you. I'm just going to be selecting that hand. I'm going to hold down on it again and select resize. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what size you choose as it always looks good and awesome. So now, however, if you're using a Nexus 4, you're going to be, have to be importing one more UCCW skin and that's going to be for your notifications at the bottom. The guys with the 720p resolutions, you guys don't have to worry about about this step I guess you can just not watch for a few seconds but Nexus 4 guys and other phones that don't have a uh, 720p resolution I do recommend importing these little icons set up here if I just select it and resize it you can see that it's that phone messages and email little icons here that I've just resized I did this because I couldn't really find a good grid size that could fit these icons and make them look perfect so I just got lazy just made a UCC a simple UCCW skin so that I could fit all of these in so that's pretty much the setup done now the guys that don't have the Nexus 4 and you won't be having this you don't have to use well you, I guess you could use this little skin here but however if you don't you're gonna go into your app drawer now say if you wanted to add in the phone shortcut you just have to hold down on phone move it to that area so it more or less covers it remember you're welcome to add one another icon if you want there but that's pretty much it so if you're using a 720p resolution with a 9x7 this should fit in the middle but this one doesn't because it's a nexus 4 great so now you have this icon here now for the nexus 4 guys and the other phones that don't support the 720p resolution you're going to be making this a blank png however if you got a 720p resolution screen such as a galaxy s3 you're going to be wanting to change this to one of these icons that have been provided so i'm just going to hold down on this icon right here select edit select the icon now and go into your gallery or gallery app of preference I always like to go for quick pick you're gonna go into that same red tech folder and say for example you want to select phone you're gonna be selecting that phone only if you have that 720p resolution however if you don't like myself you have a Nexus 4 you're going to be wanting to import a blank PNG like the one I'm selecting here so there we go I just selected done and now it's a blank PNG for all the Nexus 4 guys out there however like I said other phones you just need to select the icon that has been provided you just need to do the same for text and mail and if you want to add in an app drawer at the bottom all you would have to do is hold down towards the bottom center of the screen select Nova actions or apex actions whatever you just want to select app draw and there it is there now you just have to hold down on it select edit do the exact same thing now but for now you'll be selecting that app draw icon 
that you can see over there so that's the guys that have the the 720p screens but like i said too many times now is that the nexus 4 guys you just have to do without it which actually isn't such a big deal as you can just swipe up or just use your menu button here to bring up your app drawer so last thing before you're done you just need to lock all the widgets so everything's on and you won't bump up like this and open up the editor each time so all you'd have to do now as you can see uccw has just received a latest update and it looks much much better now so clean i really enjoy it you just want to go into your menu here lock widgets and then select on what this will do now is lock all the widgets so nothing will open but you still have those icons on the top here so you can still get to your phone all your messages or your mail whatever else you want and there we have it folks there we have our brilliant home screen set up it looks simply fantastic you got all the shortcuts that you need on a daily basis such as your messages here we've got our mail that we can select like that as well as the phone in the middle just like that so thank you very much guys for watching sorry it's been a bit long i hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial if you liked it please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already there's nothing better than seeing a new subscriber. So thanks very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing. So let's bring to you today's video tutorial. To the place where you can turn your own. Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen. The place where you come to turn your Android boring home screen into one that's like, wow, I definitely have to have that right now. No.